Hello guys and welcome to another video from me Cameron from CNY TV and today we have a wonderful video for you we have um, another gun review I know it's been a, a long time in the in the making well I haven't been making it for that long but oh well um <laughs> yeah so um this is today is the MP7 as I'm sure you can see I don't win this game well I kind of do because I come top three which counts as a victory um but yeah, I didn't. I I was like five kills off the end, but I thought it was quite an, an interesting gameplay, quite fast paced, and um, a good one to tell you guys stats and stuff about this uh, this gun. So uh, as you can see, I use it quite a lot. I have gold on it, um, and yeah, I'll, I'll just give you some of the stats, and then we'll get into what I like to use and what you should use and all the stuff like that. So uh, the damage is at close range, it is 33, and then it drops off to 18 at long range. So much more effective at close range because the drop is quite quite big uh, um, from long range. So um, yeah, the fire mode is fully automatic. Uh, we've got a rate of fire of 900 rate, uh, rounds per minute, which is very, very fast, um, which is kind of expected from an SMG. With rapid fire on, it does 1200 RPM, which is ridiculous um the reload time is um 1.72 seconds and 1.42 for reload cancelers so that's quite quick bearing in mind there's 40 bullets in the clip so that's like very that's very big and a low sort of reload so you can get lots of bullets out especially with the rapid fire so it's it's pretty much a spraying machine um the magazine size, as I said before, is 40, with an extended clip size of 54. The hip fire spread is quite low, so that means the crosshairs are quite tight. And um, the movement speed is at 100% when running. So um, let's let's talk a bit about what I like to do with this gun. Well, as you can see in this in this game, I'm sort of I'm running around, just sort of getting the picking up like blind rushing, picking up those kills left and right. Uh, there's quite a few deaths in this. Um, I was having one of those days where you're just not up to playing, and the game quality isn't that great. But um, yeah, I thought I'd get back on to a gun review for you guys because there hasn't been one in like a week and a half or something. So yeah, I, I was stepping on, and yeah, I've got it gold. And the attachments I'm using here, I think, are laser, and I'm not even sure what I'm using. Hold on, let me just—it doesn't even tell me. Um, well, I'm definitely using laser, and it's not—it won't be rapid fire or anything. It will um. It'll probably be quick draw or something like that. Um, so I use the laser because even though it has tight crosshairs, it's um, it's much better because when you're running around corners and sort of when you're blind rushing, you do a lot of hip firing. So I find that the laser really helps me along, and I'm sure you, you should. I think you should use it because it's it's worthwhile using. And the quick draw, it's not necessary, but I like it. I find that quick draw is possibly one of the um the best attachments, and I don't even know how I survived there, but okay, um, yeah, so I find that's one of the best attachments on, like, any gun, especially LMGs, because it sort of gives you an edge over your opponent, because if, if you're, if you're running around a corner, and obviously ADSing gives you the most accuracy, so even at long range, if you can get to aim down your sights before anyone else, then you've obviously got the sort of the accuracy advantage. So quick draw gives you that advantage, which I find really helps in a game, no matter what map, like whether it's a long range map or a short range map, and whether you're sort of rushing or staying back, it always helps. So um, yeah, that's a very good attachment to use. Um, any other things that I like to use? I've used silencer before. I know that's like an often used thing, and it is. It doesn't lower the gun's sort of attributes that much. It's um, in fact it's quite good because it's still you've still got that high fire rate that you um, that you can just spray into enemies with and just sort of spray and pray all the time. And then you've got um, sort of that aspect of staying on the map and not being seen. So um, which is ridiculously good advantage, same as like the quick draw sort of thing. Where if you're rushing around like in their spawn, which you will be a lot of the time with the SMGs, um, you really want that sort of silence so they don't know like you're behind them and you can sort of flank them and stuff like that. So um, yeah, this is ridiculously good with like sort of any attachment really. Um, long barrel I don't think is needed really. I don't see long barrel as that good of an attachment. I often use it on shotguns because I don't really like shot uh, sights on shotguns or anything else. 
But this isn't about shotguns. This is about the uh, the MP7. So um, the iron sights are very good, I find, because you've got them sort of green things, and uh, uh, green is the best colour that your eyes can pick up. So um, red dot sights are supposed to be very good, but if they were green dot sights, you'd be able to pick them up very much, uh, like a lot easier. Especially like when you get airsoft in, or if you like have a real gun or anything, you, they, if you buy a sight for it, it will come in red and green. Um, that's just fact. You see better. You see green better than you do red. So uh, yeah, I don't think you'd need a sight, like any type of sight. You wouldn't need holographic or anything like that. Red dot, if you was sort of on a really long range map, and if you felt that you needed it after playing with it without the iron, uh, with a with just the iron sights. But I think the iron sights are adequate, and I think they'll do the job if you need to uh, use other attachments such as the laser or something like that. FMJ. As I said before, I don't really like it that much, but yeah, that's yeah, that's all I've got to say about attachments. So um, yeah, the, it, definitely on maps like this where there's a lot of turning corners and being in the enemy spawn and stuff like that, it's um, it's this gun is very good for that because you can sort of just like peek around corners, run out, and because you've got that hundred percent movement speed, it really helps. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Remember what I said. Hopefully, use it in some of your games. Hope it helps. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I do. So, goodbye. You got to know.